Okay, it's Easter 2018, and we all know what to be thinking about on Easter, but today we're going to be thinking about this. Now, I rarely get extremely excited, but today I am extremely excited. My very good friend, Tish Egerton of Optical Awakenings, uh, who... Um, discovered no toes along with me and this is her no toes and I am just gonna let this play because this was a video that I did a while back as a matter of fact this was done uh, uh, back on uh, uh, February I did it to again once again to say that we validate this I certify these are real and we need to have this looked at so uh, here I'm gonna let this play while I, I speak about this uh, here it goes, and it's, it, I'm not going to have any talking on that. It'll just show hers, and then I think it goes on to show some big ones and 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 so forth. Uh, I believe, yeah, they're coming up in a second. All right, these are the ones I found that were um, that that were like regular feet. They look like shoes, and there's no toes in them. Well, there's toes in them, but you don't see the toes. Tissues are all eroded, and she has found a literal village. That's hers. You see that? That's like a wing nut on the bottom. And these are gigantic ones. These are from Australia, California. They're all over the world. So, um, wait till you see what she found. <laughs> Absolutely phenomenal. And um, before you do that, I'm going to stop it here. You see this? This is the kind of foot. This is the kind of normal foot. And this is what she's found is feet like this. And there is a, 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 a thing that bolts right onto the side of them. It's absolutely phenomenal. So I'm going to show that and then we'll just go from there. This is a mind exploder. Tish Egerton, who I have been working with for almost a year now. I may even be a year. She found no toes it, within minutes before I was going to cut my no toe open. This is so unbelievable. The coincidence, and it can't be a coincidence, something here is going on. I had a no toe here that was complete, and I've shown it over and over, and I couldn't see any of this structure. And it looked like, a, I, I thought it was a shoe, to be perfectly honest with you, at one point, and then I decided, well, I think it's a foot. I'm going to cut it open and see. Literally, and I am not kidding you, it was, a, I, I, I'm almost certain it was the same day, and it could have been within literally within minutes of cutting it she finds these no toes now look at this and, and when i say she found them they went out in 15 minutes and found it i'm not lying that's that she told me she says oh, we saw your video my husband said oh you should still go take a look at it and she's a fossil dealer and a crystal dealer uh that is i that's her her part of her livelihood I imagine uh, you know I'm not, I'm not close with that part of it but I do understand how she has an eye for this and I and she has some fabulous things I've seen too but anyway that's another side of the thing this is what she has done here and this is absolutely phenomenal mine I could see none of this hers you can see every single detail look at this that's a bolt in there these are all and where do you see the, the uh, she's doing another video right now, by the way. And, and she's found a whole batch of these. There must be a whole village living there. And they just walk out and pick them up. Where do you see the video she sent? Absolutely phenomenal. This this whole series here is bolted on there. Now, now, so listen to this. Here's the funny part. Well, it's not funny. It's just amazing. I am just getting ready to release a video about um, uh, Mauro Biglino. Biglino. And um, here he is here, I believe. Yes, this is um, this is part one. Uh, it was part two where it came up to. It was at. Um, listen to this. This will blow you away because I'm just getting ready to release this, and she sends me this. Hold on. Was it? Uh, was it? Uh, I'm sorry, it was like a 42 minute, I, I think it was 42, well, maybe it was 40, no, it's going to be 42 minutes. Uh, boy, I don't have it right here. Here it is, 35.45. Aha. Hi, right, thanks for hanging in there with me, 35.45, I hope it plays. Alright, well, 
it was sitting there for quite a while. Let's get rid of it and start over again. Now I say 35. Okay, here we go. Now, he's speaking in obviously Italian and he has an interpreter here. Now, we're at about the point. Now, he, here's, the, here's the deal with this guy. He interprets for the Vatican. He has like 16 or 17 books from the library of the Vatican, the publishing house of the Vatican. This guy is, he's, he reads the ancient Hebrew texts and translates them for the Vatican. They know he is talking about this right now. They are not stopping him. All right? He is translated for the pontiffs. And they are not stopping him. So they and he says they want it known because it's the, just the truth. And it's uh, and he says all I'm saying is what's written. He's not making up any stories. He's not ingratiating anything other than the words that were written. And they have to be taken in a certain way because there was no vowels back then, and they strung all the letters together. You have to listen to the guy. He's very, very, very credible and very, very, very knowledgeable. In my point of view, I could be totally wrong, he might be just a fraud, but I don't think so. And I don't think anybody does. So um, I would look into him. And this researcher, uh, a girl here, her, it, it, it's, um, this is um, School of Life, and her name is, oh boy, I had it here, Sarah West, Westall. And she is very good, asked all the correct questions. All right, so let's listen to what he has to say. That in the Bible it's not mentioned at all about the creation. Che nella Bibbia non c'è il termine che significa Dio. That in the Bible there isn't the word God. Che nella Bibbia non c'è il termine che significa eternità. The word God is not in the Bible. The word eternity is not in the Bible. Il verbo creare non c'è nella Bibbia. The verb to create is not in the Bible. I cherubini erano dei robot. The cherubins were robots. E la Bibbia I'm sorry, parla... oh, I'm sorry, hold on. <laughs> Who were robots? I cherubini. Cherubins. Oh, so there was robots. The angels, the angels, the oh, cherubins. The, a, the were, angels were, were, angels, were robots. Uh, All right, the, the whole thing, and, and when you listen to a lot of the ancient texts, he says he landed there, his legs were made out of gold, and his arms were made out of silver, and all kinds of crazy stuff, and here is the evidence, absolutely unbelievable, and she, and I was just getting ready to do this video, and, and she pops up with these things, I can't, this is too much for me to comprehend, I'm telling you, the things that are being exposed, the dragon, the giants, the uh, you know these robot things that I mean, constructed people. Not a word that was written can I dismiss. Not a word that was written in the ancient days can I dismiss. And you can't either if you have an open mind. So I think it's time for this to be common knowledge, not so it's or it's only crank people in the. Silly people that are, are thinking about it. No, absolutely not. It should be thought about. The, the angels were robots. The angels, carob named carabins, were robots. What did they look like? All right, I, we'll, we'll Erano, get back to this because I'm going uh, to stop it now. Per All right, I, I shouldn't leave you in that position because the, it, it was angels, not the carob angels. Named carabins, were robots. What did they look like? Erano uh, macchine monoposto per volare. They looked uh, as a machine car with one seat made to fly. E Yahweh si volava stando seduto sopra come si sta seduti a cavallo. And uh, Yahweh fly with his machine, flew, sorry, with his machine, like uh, when you ride a horse. Oh, so they were called caravans, Is it, but those, those were what they called the angels? The no, machines? No, 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 not caravans, uh, caravans. Okay, but that's what they called the angels, were these flying machines. Mm -hmm. The angels were flying on the machines. No, no. 
No, it was the Yahweh that flew on the car machine, not the angels. Okay, well, who were the angels? Gli angeli erano. Okay, he's apparently he's talking about Yahweh were robots, and they flew on um, these little car machines. Uh, but anyway, the robots is the key to the thing. He talked about robots, so we got robots here somewhere. That is all my point is. And, and, and as I go through the video series that I'm going through, um, because I really uh, researched this pretty seriously, and I don't see any contradictions in anything that was, uh, was written, but you have to go beyond what was just written in the Christian Bible or the Koran or any of those texts. You have to combine them all. And then you have to go into the Sumerian tales, which are the true tales, it sounds like to me, because this is exactly what he's talking about. He said 100% identical. Sumerian texts in the uh, clay tablets, 100,000 or so, or even more than that maybe, um, were written, and that, as they say, the same words this guy is saying. And that was in the earliest Hebrew Bible, and he's saying the Israelis were just another group of people, but... The, the, they were they were being looked after by the Elo, this a member of the Elohim Elohim, and the Elohim were the leaders of the they they were like the gods they were like aliens and they created us and every town or so had its own god which was each Elohim Elohim. And, and, and they that's why there was these pagan gods and they took care of them and they were gods to them, because they created them to serve them. And he says a lot of stuff, and apparently the, the, the Vatican and the, uh, the church is okay with this. But I would love to talk to him, because I don't think he understands the New Testament, because if he's talking Bible, he says Bible all the time. If he's talking about the New Testament, I don't think we're talking about the same God. And I said one time before in my other video, that it was like 6,000 years, but I think the real God that is the real, real God came here like 4,300 years ago and said, I'm going to wipe all you guys out because you destroyed everything that I created and I'm sending my son down here to fix it and then they killed him. So, and then, then John of Patmos wrote exactly what is happening now in Revelations. Exactly. So, I think we take things a little more serious and this guy is opening it and exposing it and it appears that everything would be exposed in the end they said and all the ancient times text was found 1946 47 uh and then uh, which are the end times text in two complete separate findings all over uh, uh, in hundreds and hundreds of them uh and um and they point to the end times and this is right after the slaughter of all the Jews in, in World War II. So now you're in 46, 47, they find all these texts. 48 Israel is, is founded, and, and they all come to the homeland again. Palestine there, which they, you know, it's just, it didn't work out all that good for everybody at the moment. But I don't know how it's going to work out. God's got his own way of doing things. But all these things are, are, are we're told. And then all of a sudden I find the giants, and then I see a passage that says, when the giants come out of the chains of darkness, that's judgment. And then I find a passage that says there's two resurrections. And the dragon, which I found, gets out of the ground every thousand years. And after the first thousand years, also in, in on top of the dragon got now, after the first thousand years of Christ being gone from earth, all of the ones that were martyrs got out. All right, that was the first resurrection. It says it clearly in, the, in the, I, I can't remember the passage, but it says clearly, after the first thousand years, anyone that sacrificed themselves for Christ gets out and, and now reigns with Christ for the next thousand years. So now that brings us up to the end of time, which is now, judgment. And then the dragon will be let loose again. It's exactly what it says, identical. It says every thousand years, and then he has to get let out for a little while. So now he's apparently out because, you know, there's a dragon. Well, I don't know what happens to the dragon. Does he come out as a big dragon, or does he come out as a spirit of a dragon? Or does he come out with just a real rotten person like Hitler? No clue. But Hitler was certainly into this. He called it the Third Reich. That's the third thousand year span. And we, I just told you, this first 2000 is accounted for first and second resurrection. So 
uh, and I've got a lot more about Plato and Atlantis and the dragon and the Leviathan and and, and all and this and it's, they're all words from this guy and Sitchin. They all tie together, and there is no holes that I can see. All right, Tish just sent me this moments ago. Now this is the video of look at this. Look at that. It's like they took a plate and they bolted it here, bolted it here. This is the spring assembly, and you can see it on the side. You can see the whole assembly. It bolts on like a plate. And where do you see the size of these feet? Watch this. Whoops. Here we go. Watch. Look at this. Look at the width of the feet. And, the, and, and we, I'm going to show you where, where the creatures these come from. Okay, look at that for a foot. Now, you see this here? That whole thing bolts right on. You see it? And that is what it has on the other one. And there's a torsion spring. That gives it the flexibility. I show it very well in the other videos. But look at the size of that foot. Now, I'm going to show you the creature it comes from, which is more of an ape than it is a human. And that's what um, Moro uh, Biglino says, is that Adam's first few wives he didn't like because they were too much like apes. All right, that's obviously the feet. There they are right there. That's obviously the feet. Look at the size of them. And this was some kind of a, a ape-looking thing. They said they mixed between Homo habilis and Homo erectus and came up with Homo sapiens. This was a very early production model. That's all I can tell you.